Good evening. Welcome to the uh, September 17th, 2014 Planning and Zoning Commission meeting. At this time, I'd like to uh, remind you, if you haven't done it already, please uh, take your cell phones, put them on mute, or turn them off for the remainder of the meeting. And uh, would you please stand and repeat after me? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The uh, um, applications heard during tonight's meeting will be voted on by the Planning and Zoning Commission during the meeting tonight. The Planning and Zoning Commission's recommendation on these applications will then be submitted to the St. Charles County Council for their final decision on the items. The individual items or bills will be introduced at the Tuesday, October 14th, 2014 County Council meeting. And as a quick announcement, um, one of the items on our agenda this evening was a preliminary plat, but we have re um, received requests from the applicant um, they tabled it last month and they wish to it remain tabled. So if anybody is here for the preliminary, pre preliminary excuse me, plat um, for the woods at Duella Crossing, um, that will be continued on until next month's meeting. All right, I see we have a quorum. We'll, uh, is there a motion to open the meeting? I'll make a motion. Second. And second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Just for a roadmap for the evening, um, I will read the uh, applications into the, uh, into the record. And then uh, staff will give their analysis and their uh, and their recommendation. Then, the, if the uh, applicant is in the room and they wish to do so, they may come forward and explain the application and uh, answer any questions from the uh, from the commission. After the applicant, the uh, we will open the room up to the public. So, there's, if there's anybody that wishes to speak on the application, may do so. And uh, at at the end of that, the applicant may come forward and answer any of the uh, issues brought up during the public's uh, portion of it. After, uh, after that, the commission will discuss the application amongst ourselves and, uh, and make our vote on our recommendation to the county council, which will uh, begin hearing that item in their October 14th meeting. The uh, first item on the uh, agenda this evening is application 24177 by Stephen Todd, applicant, North Point Prairie Development LLC is the property, the owner. For a lawn care service, on, uh, and the zoning is A, agricultural district, it's 3.35 acres, and it's located on the east side of North Point Prairie Road at Pasture View Court in Council District 1. Staff? All right, thank you. Um, area land uses and zonings include um, A, agricultural district zoning to the north, south, and east, um, and to the west in the city of Wentzville is a single family residential development that's zoned R1A. Um, land uses in the area to the north is single family residential and south is also single family residential and to the east is vacant. A little background, um, the subject, the a single family residence that's in poor condition is on this property with two storage buildings um, and the parcel is, as you said, 3.35 acres. Um, the owners are seeking a conditional use permit to allow the existing lawn care service um, to legally continue on the site. Um, we, of course, looked at this as we do with all conditional use permits um, relative to the health, safety, and welfare of the citizens of St. Charles County. Um, we note that there was a previous um, lawn care service um, application to the south of this at Scotty Road, and that was recommended for approval in 2000. Um, that never developed because the contract um, was never sold, but, but we have in the past approved um, conditional use permits for lawn care services on North Point Prairie Road. Um, we find that the lawn care service, um, when conditioned at this location, um, can, can be placed on this property without causing detriment to the area residents. Um, and as the definition of a lawn care service uh, requires that all of the materials um, and um, equipment be stored within buildings. And um, then they do have to get a site plan approval and things like that. So, um, so when, with everything stored in buildings, it will look basically like an agricultural piece of property. Um, so staff is recommending approval um, subject to the conditions of a site plan must be submitted to and approved by St. Charles County Community Development Department, indicating entrance, parking, and location of all structures. Um, the parcels must be combined by a boundary adjustment plat prior to site plan approval. There's two separate parcels. 
um, that are used together here. And then the no conditional use shall be an active, be active until all conditions of the approval have been met. In any case where a conditional use is not in place and an active use within two years of the date of granting and or in accordance to the terms of the conditional use originally granted or subsequently amended, then without further action, the Planning and Zoning Commission and or County Council, the conditional use permit or authorization thereof shall be null and void. And we have received letters. We received one letter in support from James Green and three letters in opposition from James and Donna Ohl, Jerry Warren, and Edmund and Marvin Deer. Any questions of staff? I've got a couple of quick ones. Mm -hmm. uh, that 2000 conditional use permit on mm -hmm. uh, Scotty, was that the same applicant or is that another? No, product? it was a different. Okay. It's a different applicant. Uh, secondly, the, um, you said in, to allow this existing lawn care to become legal. How long has it been operating without approval? Um, when we were out in the field, the gentleman that was there told us five years, five but we years. can double check that with the applicant. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions of staff? All right. Thank you. The applicant in the room. Come on forward. And just as a reminder, anybody who does speak, um, please fill out a, a speaker card that we have up here at the uh, at the front, and make sure uh, um, Sheila has that, as, so we can have a record of your uh, of your notes. Right, can you uh, raise your right hand for us? Yes. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, to help you God? Yes. Okay. Can you state your name and address for our record, please? Stephen Todd, address fifteen thirty one, Hibernation Hollow, Winsville, Missouri, six three three eight five. Go ahead. I really don't know, uh, you know, what I'm supposed to be really doing. Just um, we've actually only been on this property for a little less than a year. Um, it's almost been a full year. Um, when we came on the property, it was pretty rough. You know, there was a lot of trash debris. You know, we've just been trying to pick it up, clean it up, and uh, you know, just make it look nice. I know there's a subdivision right across the street, so obviously they don't want to look at something super trashy. Um, so we're just trying to keep it nice, but still be able to run a business right there. So, Any uh, questions for the applicant? Uh, are you leasing the property or did you? Correct, buy it? yes. You're leasing it? Yes. And you've only been operating for one year? From that site, correct. From that site. Is there anyone living on the site? No, sir. Okay. Any other questions for the applicant? Have you read the letters from the people, the complaints? No, Has he I seen not. the letters? No. He hasn't. Okay. All right. Have you had a chance to review the uh, the conditions um, that uh, that Jan uh, spoke of, the recommended conditions on the uh, as far as the keeping the stuff indoors and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Correct. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. And you're, well, yeah. That's yes. all good. Yes, sir. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you. Right, we will now open this up to the, uh, the public. So if there's anybody in the room that wishes to speak on this application, uh, please, uh, please feel free to do so. All right. Seeing none, we will uh, close the, uh, the public portion of this and uh, bring it back before the commission. Any questions, comments? All right, seeing none, is there, a, uh, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Okay, Mr. Griffin, how do you vote? Yes. Mr. Ellis? Yes. Mr. McBride? Yes. I vote yes. Mr. Leonard? Yes. Mr. Fromm? Yes. Mr. Kuhn? Yes. Ms. Polly? Yes. All right, the motion is approved eight to zero. And as previously stated, the next item on our agenda was the uh, preliminary plat that was tabled at our last meeting. We will keep, just keep that tabled for the next meeting. The next uh, item on the agenda is the approval of the minutes from last month. So moved. So moved to, and a second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Any other business for the commission before we adjourn? Is there a motion to adjourn? Yes. yes. And is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 You set a record. I think we did. Yes.